Okay, then, then shall we move on to the last presentation of today? Yes. Right. Yeah. Team B. Okay. If, uh, I'm sorry, but please wait a little bit. Uh, sorry, my camera, camera is uh, out because of battery, so I just do the presentation without the camera. Uh, no problem. Okay. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Chung Dae Kim and I'm in Unit 2, B Team and the name of our project is COVID Arcade Promenade. Due to the coronavirus, we reduced our outside activities. However, people still need leisure and social connection for our rich life. So we thought about the idea to deal with this problem. We wanted to make people safely meet each other, especially keeping their distance. In that case, we will need more space for people than before. So we decided to use schoolyard and park, which is not well used due to the recent hazard. Activating such dead space can make additional room to prevent the infection. So we designed the inner network in our target area which make people not to be close to each other while they are moving. And also we believe that if we appropriately place such network, we can actually manipulate the trend, trend of pedestrian flow of sur surrounding area. Simply thinking, uh, simply speaking, by placing such event area in relatively quiet space, we can attract people to visit there so we can reduce the crowdness of nearby busy roads. We chose to set this event area in school or pocket park. School is one of the most important elements for city zoning and pocket park is also event uh, evenly placed in city. So I think it is proper to use such area in this project. Through the lecture, we learned that using Rhino and Grasshopper with NNA tool can actually visualize people's movement pattern or pre preference, uh, uh, preference of certain route and connectivity of each place. By using such data, we could evaluate our target area. We could see the trend in various purpose of visiting, including retail and entertainment. And through between this analysis, we concluded that the route connecting Mangridan Road and Hangang River Park area is most popular. You can see the red line in here. So we decided to place our project area away from the route because our project is to spread people to wide area. And after selecting our project area, we actually visit there, visit our target area and counted the actual pedestrian number. And, and then we compared it with the estimated value from NNA tool. And the result was the corre correlation ratio was close to 70%. So it means analyzing tool is quite accurate. And after that, we compared the between these two residential area, each with Hangang River and the target area. According to this difference, if we successfully attract people to our target area, there may be more gradual dis distribution of people in this town. So we check our target areas nearby road and read the trend of pedestrian flow. The chart shows various patterns of flow by age type, which means this column is 
teenage and 20s, 30s, and on and on. And the end is total value. By this, we can set the direction of our network and position of our area's entrance and exit. If we properly set the direction, we can reduce the unbalance of flow rate. After that, we create a catalog for various cases. We have three types of area, which means triangle and square and rectangle. And for each area, we distinguish the case by the number of adjacent road, which can be used as the entrance and or exit or both. And then we even specify intern, internal network concept according to the three types of area dimension. Uh, 10,000 square meter is the, the lowest and the thousand, uh, 3,000 is highest value. And then we even specify internal, internal network concept or Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Through this concept, we create the specific design for our target areas. This is for triangle area case. And this is for rectangular. And then we injected our network to geometry map and analyzed the betweenness and straightness value. We expected the betweenness value of our surrounding area will be gradually distributed and straightness will be decreased. Uh, to simply introduce the straightness, straightness val value means how simple is this network. So if our network is fittingly complex, which means we have many connection and root area, we can afford many people in this area. Uh, yes, of course, there will be problem if we have too much people in one area, but we are going to deal with that problem later. So the more low trainness comes out, the more successful that our work was. However, our models couldn't affect enough to the whole network. And we concluded that we should make more specific and complex network. So we developed the catalog more specifically. We set the rule of network line first. This is one of the strategy to deal with the overcrowd problem, preferably I mentioned in here. By the six feet rule, we set the width of main line two meter if it is used one way, which means if we use this way line, you can go back, you can't go back to this line. So, uh, if it needs both direction, we set the width two uh, uh, by two for two meters, so four meter width. And sub network sub network is uh, diverging from main network. Mm. And then the first means, and the first means it goes back to diverged network like this. And the second case is dead end. If we go here and we should go back to here, right? So in logical thinking, the only two way is logically proper in sub-second. And also we create the real size object which provide various service like this, such as gallery, cafe, restaurant, and the library. And after that, we make the combina combination of objects which is called module it reflects the realistic flow of certain service areas, such as if there is a cafe, there should be table or the parasol bench. And so we create three, three types of shape similar to our target area shape that can be used as a core unit of network design. We also make variation of components like two cases, you can see. Uh, ignore that. And after, after that, we actually inject our objects and modules into the target area. And then we analyze the inner network 
between which means uh, the outside network is not included. So uh, through this, we can detect crowded area in our target area. By manipulating weighting value of this area, such as density of service offer or customer's average using time of service, we can optimize our network. Unfortunately, we have not enough time to deal with that problem. This is also network design and its, co its components of our rectangular shape target area. Model one is used one and two for two, just like that. And comparing the bed between this value, you can see the more complex design. And after all process, process, if we inject our final network design to entire geometry data, by this we can evaluate the effectiveness of our project to the citizen flow. And also I think if we can impose the weight value related to age pref preference or uh, in our model modules, we can make more interesting and meaningful results according to the distribution patterns of the actual population. And after these are all our process, yes, my presentation is over. Can you keep on sharing your screen? Maybe go to the best best page that you like. Maybe the last page. Is, is this your best page? Uh, this page and where we actually use the components in the real network. Yes, this page maybe. Okay, so you are proposing an elementary school plan, yeah? Yes, especially for the playground, not for the school building. Cool. Well, if I may start, I, I really like your methodology um, relating the network uh, network design to the plot shape. I think that is really smart take on. Um, uh, uh. As you are picking, uh, I, I like your diagram that you just stopped by uh, earlier this page. Uh, that is really well done. Um, maybe not so much this page though, although there's a login page here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, let's let's wait for oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. Okay. All right, yeah. great. So like here, I mean in general, I, I really like this project, uh, your method. And the way you are uh, talking is really similar to NJ. I don't know. Like I was uh. I thought I'm I'm listening to NJ's tutorial. <laughs> But which means you are like learning really like uh, you're very focusing. Uh, yeah, you really uh, explained very well. Uh, what I really uh, don't like is about how this shape is uh, not relating to the natural uh, shape of what's given. Uh, and I, I thought if you have triangle, like in the diagram, you have triangle, you have circle or whatever, and it should like like really adaptable. Like you can adapt to different shape of circles. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the beauty of this net uh, parametric kind of approach. So you can actually, because you, you divided it like that, that's all, that's your design decision. And then you can decide, yeah, I'm going to have a triangle like this here and, yes. and a square like that. And then maybe here you might want to have like triangle like that. And, you know, you can like, it's, it gives you so much more potential than just having that like very specific three shape. 
um, yeah, so if you can just, uh, even if it's not really working perfectly like that yet, but if you can kind of illustrate that with one or two of diagram of this before after, I think that will be uh, very clear. Um, and can you go to your final proposal, maybe in a larger, like, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe this one. Uh, uh, this looks quite different, but I like it. Uh, yes. I don't know what's happening here, but I want to see different scenarios of your network happening, even if, even if it's in one uh, big plot. There must be a lot of different potentials and and like network potential. And maybe if you could have like compared few scenarios as few options and see which one is performing maybe the best. I think that could be also a very interesting exercise. Um, but what, what I really like about this project uh, is that you are really just really actively using this as your design tool or modeling tool. Um, and uh, a little bit, probably you are a bit free from the existing urban condition because you are dealing with a very free, uh, empty plot. Yes. And you can just assemble. So I think you, you, you found a very uh, exciting topic that you, you freed yourself uh, to deal with something um, more, that, that you can more actively engage and and using this tool as a design tool, and I really appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Uh, did you do site survey? Yes, we our team also went to site survey. Right. So and, yes. Yeah. From the site survey, you so I don't get any relationship between the site site survey and your proposal, your site itself. Uh, you, Pardon, it, it's not clearly listening. Oh, sorry. Yes. So, did you did you did you consider site survey things into your proposal as well, right? Yes. Uh, maybe this part is uh, on-site survey, and mm, what I want to use site survey data is we want to uh, test our tool, how much uh, this tool is accurate. And through the on-site data, we can show that. Right, okay. So after this, we can, um, we can um, believe our tool, tool's result and yes, analyze, analyzing the between. Yeah, also you use the betweenness results, the betweenness analysis results already embedded the, the site context, right? And uh, based on this result, you decide which, uh, uh, which Sorry. location will be the destination and which yes, right. location will be the entrance of your this site, is, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's already embedded the site context, but uh, to define the, the entrance and uh, exit. So yeah, I think it's good to you explain, uh, in, include this, uh, the subject in your presentation. Yeah, it could be good. But I, in general, I really appreciate all your progress because you really like, we understand you struggle a lot because uh, to develop the kind of network design in a like uh, kind of a pocket park and like uh, potentially like a uh, semi-open public space in school. So uh, it's a kind of first trial and very kind of new approach while you are design uh, architecture design or urban design. So because normally we just thinking about the, the, the building itself, right? The mass yeah. or density, but instead of that, we just begin to think about network first and then we, you located the, the buildings after. So actually it's a kind of like really opposite uh, approaches, yeah. you know? So 
but it's still very good exercise, hopefully. And um, yeah, what I suggest is that uh, uh, maybe uh, later you just to zoom in, for example, like this page and you just uh, zoom in some kind of pick uh, interesting kind of diagrams and they explain about the, what is the meaning of the colors for your uh, site, you know, like you, you did the before and after analysis, right? But yeah. like you have to explain the what is the meaning of the color of the the research result, right? Yeah, yeah. you you talk to us like uh, okay, here is more dense uh, areas than the others, but like more specifically, if you can uh, explain for each uh, research, let's say a diagram, uh, maybe could it be helpful to understand how networks is working in your. Uh, proposal and or like even surroundings of your proposal so yeah but I, 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 also, I, I really appreciate your work and progress yeah I think I think I really I really like that your way of doing right like what you what Chang says your opposite thing is quite interesting to you are designing empty space by using network things it's which is interesting and also uh, I think yeah, you better to explain later on, you know, about the, what happening in your proposal uh, by using networking system terms itself. It's going to be really interesting to understand and then to make sure what you achieve from your diagram because you are not showing any movie or any kind of mirror situation, not this typical, but, you know, so you better to explain it or better to make us understand what kind of happening in the site by by using those networking analysis? That could be possible to do, I think. Yeah. yeah, maybe I take on that Jay's comment. Maybe your final uh, output uh, can be a very a storytelling plan. Uh, I don't know. Like maybe you have a lot of programs happening here and there, but it's a really detailed plan. Like. Uh, just 2D drawings of this area with the cities and everything, but it's just a suggestion. And when I see this page on your page 12, um, I think uh, I would also really appreciate if the network is extended to the city, so surrounding network. So you don't just uh, analyze your own plot, but you also should con continue uh, to the surrounding network yes um, and if for example if you uh, you know normally these kind of school buildings are closed with the with a fence or wall yes, that's right but maybe this gives you an opportunity that you can actually open this up to the city mm. and, but still you remain certain privacy uh, and you can kind of analyze even if it if this is open, I can give privacy here and there and there, for example. I think this can be really used actively and bring some kind of proposals like that. Yeah. And but one more just curious thing for me is later on, maybe you want to think about it, maybe after a workshop, I think, and you set up different, tri different geometry as a kind of plan, like a rectangle and triangle, etc. I don't know, I'm not sure how, but you analysis well about the different geometry works as a different network system, but I thought, I don't, but they could be more sophisticated, uh, sophisticated some way of maybe changing, transform the some kind of geometry or plan, I think, you know, somehow, some old networking analysis work as a almost the same, almost same working, I think, as a, as a point of view, as I just looking at. So maybe I think some different geometry will act differently more, I think. I'm not sure, but I, I'd better think about it. Yeah, that's right. So, so I wanted to try uh, many types of network in same area, but there was so much lack of time. So it was yes all right okay thank you i really appreciate thank you
Oh, we are done, right? Today? Yeah. Yeah? Was that the yeah. last?